Hey guys, Eric Johnson. So I'm going to talk about something that a guy brought up in the comments. Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, great question. He said, what do you do uh, to deal with anxiety or depression when you get sober? I had a panic attack two years into my sobriety. <clears throat> Here, let me get out of the wind. I got this cool little... Uh, riders like a little riders cabin right here so get out all right so there's a couple things I did because I had a panic attack two years into my sobriety of course when you first get sober it can be really fun it you know they call it the pink cloud it's kind of like the honeymoon stage you know you get your feelings back your emotions back and you can have moments of bliss, you know, because alcohol is very suppressive and oppressive. And so when you become free of that, you know, it can life can be really magical for a certain period of time. But then this the real work comes in. The skeletons in the closet can emerge and haunt you if you don't do your work, your uh spiritual and mental work around your sobriety. So I had a panic attack about two years into my sobriety around my dad. Um, cause I had issues with my dad growing up, you know, I, I just wanted to impress him and make him love me and accept me like a lot of kids do. And, uh, when I was talking to him at the dinner table, when I had the panic attack, I I think I caused I think the panic attack happened because I was bragging or trying to impress him with my online business. And at that time my online business was lame. I was only making like forty dollars a month online with my my ebook that I uploaded onto Amazon Kindle. Um and maybe I felt like I was full of BS. I don't know. But I just turned white and sweat started pouring down my face and it was a panic attack. So after that I was scared to go over to my parents' house. And that made me feel really bad because I'm like, why am I scared of my own parents, you know? Even they thought it was kind of, my mom was like, why are you scared of us? That's ridiculous. And uh, so what I did to basically rewire my brain and get out of this social anxiety, because that created social anxiety after that. After I had the panic attack, I created a panic disorder, which means that you're scared uh, when you go around certain places where you had a panic attack. And so I was scared to go back to my parents' house and I knew it was ridiculous. So um, what I did was I started to work out because a lot of nervous energy comes back when you get sober sometimes. For me, uh, you can also get depressed when you get sober. Um, and both of those are basically it can be fixed if you redirect your energies um, with depression you you probably want to get those that dopamine going again and get all your your get all of your electrons firing in your brain all the all the synapses get those firing again by you know working out and getting a high from the gym instead um, you know watch motivational videos on YouTube, start reading cool books on how to change your life for the better. But what I did was I started taking CBD oil and that kind of calmed the edge, you know, that smoothed over the edges. And, um, <clears throat> the other thing I did was I started doing self-confidence hypnosis on YouTube. There's lots of videos on how to do that. I started doing that every single day. And then while I was walking or jogging, I did self-affirmations. So I did positive self-talk all day long. So I'd, I would say things like, I am confident. I am calm. I command success in all areas of my life. I'm confident. I'm calm. I command success in all areas of my life. And I did that constantly. So with the hypnosis, with the jogging, with the CBD oil, and the self-talk affirmations, I started to get confident and the, the nervous energy went away. That's what I did. So if you're having trouble um, readjusting to reality, 
Um, you, you know, you can also go to 12 step meetings. You can get a therapist. Um, I'll leave a couple links under this video, one for CBD oil and one for, um, healthcare. The healthcare has talk space included and mental health and telemedicine is zero, um, with these plants. So, um, if you missed health insurance, the window this year, then check that out. But Basically, you want to redirect your energy and focus on uh, building up that positive energy. And yeah, a lot of people turn to exercise when they get sober. And I would, I don't care if people are like, yeah, you just traded one addiction for another. I don't care what people say because I, I would rather get ripped at the gym, you know, and feel amazing than have a couple of haters say that I'm switching addictions. I would be perfectly fine with that if I got my body ripped and uh, started running marathons and doing amazing things. I mean, I'm 51. I can't wait to do marathons and do some crazy things like jogging up mountains with a little day pack and uh, maybe jogging overnight like David Goggins. You know, that guy is an animal doing uh, 240 mile marathons. I mean, absolutely insane what the body can do. So I would dive into that. I would start, uh, looking into people that are exceptional and live a healthy, sober life. Um, you're going to have to get rid of all your old friends and people and places that remind you of drinking. You can't, you can't live in both worlds. It's all or nothing. It's life or death. So you got to get rid of your old friends, move out of the town you're in, and you're going to be, you might be lonely for a while. I mean, go to, go to meetings, find some online friends like me. You can leave a comment anytime you want under these videos. We can start a dialogue here. I mean, not massive comments. It's not like a chat room, like a uh, Facebook messenger, leave a couple, leave a comment and I'll respond. How are you doing with your sobriety? Um, do you have any tips on how you stay sober? Um, I know that in the beginning, I still had my cigarettes and my M&Ms, and that kept me going. And then I got two jobs, so I worked a lot and would go home and just have my M&Ms and some tea and watch a documentary. I read uh, Think and Grow Rich when I first got sober. Uh, it's, all, it's all mental. It's a mental game. If you, can, if you can master the mental game, you're set. You can do anything you want with your life. So rewire, rewire, rewire your brain. It's fun. It's uh, check out Joe Dis Joe Dispenza. He talks about neuroplasticity and how you can rewire your brain for success. So there's lots of research for you to do. There's lots of activities you can do. Stay busy and uh, don't get too addicted to busy work. You know you do want to eventually have a life balance. So that's it. I love you guys. Subscribe and follow my journey so I can help you guys with your journey. God bless.